moment. What is moment? Moment is a physical quantity used to describe the turning effects of a force. The turning effect of a force about a fixed point is measured by the moment of a force. Mathematically, moment of a force about a point equal to the product of force times the perpendicular distance of the force from the point. Look at first the unit of moment is Newton meter. Second, there are two types of moments, namely clockwise moment and anti clockwise moment. Let's look at the following examples. For case 1, if the force F applies in the directions, the moment of the force about the point O is clockwise moment. For second case, if the force acts on the rock in the direction shown, the moment of this force about point O is anti-clockwise moment. For the last case, if the force acts along the rock in the direction shown, the moment of the force about the point P will become zero because the perpendicular distance of the force from P is zero, therefore the moment becomes zero. Example 1. A rock PO of length L is fixed at O. A force F is applied at different positions and directions as shown in the following diagrams. Find the moment of the force about O in each case. For case 1, the moment of the force about O is FL, which is anti-clockwise moment. For case 2, the moment of the force about point O is equal to F times L over 2 Again, this is anti-clockwise moment. For case 3, the moment of the force F about point O is zero because the force passes through point O. For case 4, the moment of the force F about point O is equal to F times Perpendicular distance is D, which is equal to F times L side 60 degree. And this is clockwise moment. For case 5, the moment of the force F above point O is F times D pi, where D pi equal to L psi 30 degree and this case is anti-clockwise moment. For case 6, the moment of the force F about point O is F L which is equal to clockwise moment. What is the meaning of pilot when an object turns about a fixed point, 
when it is added on by a moment, the fixed point is called pilot. And what is meant by couples? A couple is formed when two equal and opposite parallel forces applied to the same body and do not act in the same line. For example, one, we have two equal forces F X in opposite directions and they are parallel. The moment of these forces about O is equal to F out plus F out, which is clockwise moment. And the total moment equal to 2F out which is equal to f times 2r equal to f times d where d is the distance between these forces Next, example 2 if the two forces f act in opposite directions on the rock of length 2d then the total moment of the force about point O is F time X plus F time X equal to F time 2X again 2X is the perpendicular distance between the forces as a conclusion, the moment of a couple is equal to the force F times perpendicular distance between the forces. Example 2. When seen from above, two boys X and Y push a rotator with forces 50 Newton and 60 Newton respectively. By finding the resulting moment about the center of the rotator O, justify the motion of the rotor. When take moment at O, X produces an anti clockwise moment equal to 50 times. 0 0.4 which is equal to 20 nm at the same time y produce a clockwise moment equal to 60 times 0 0.3 which is 18 nm because anti clockwise moment is greater than the clockwise moment, therefore, the rotor will rotate about O in anti clockwise directions. What are the necessary conditions for equilibrium. An object is said to be in equilibrium when both the following conditions hold. First, the total upward forces should be equal to the total downward forces. Second, the total clockwise moment equal to the total anti-clockwise moment. Notice that both the
clockwise moment and the anti-clockwise moments should be taken about the same point. Consider the case two boys X and Y of weight 500 newtons and W respectively sitting on a light plank with pilot upon P. If the pen is in equilibrium, we have clockwise moment about point P equal to W times 0 0.4 and anti-clockwise moment about point P equal to 500 times 0 0.2 For equilibrium, the total clockwise moment equal to the total anti-clockwise moment Therefore, we have W times 0 0.4 equal to 500 times 0 0.2 And we find that the weight of Y, W equal to 250 Newton. Also, we can find the reaction force on the plank at P. For equilibrium, total upward force equal to total downward force. Therefore, we have R equal to 500 plus W equal to 500 times 250 which is equal to 750 Newton. What is meant by center of gravity, CG? Center of gravity is the point at which the weight of a rigid body appears to add on. Consider a man stands on the ground. If the center of gravity of the man and the reaction force from the ground, if both W and R pass through the same line, then the man is said to be in equilibrium. For a uniform rock, the center of gravity acts as a midpoint. If the rock has a weight W and length L, the CG acts at the midpoint Example 3 A boy holds a dumbbell by his, by his hand The mass of his forearm is 2 kg with center of gravity at C The mass of the dumbbell is 10 kg with center of gravity at O. Find the force exerted by the bicep. By taking moment at the fixed point P, which is the point of the elbow contact point, we have two clockwise moments, one produced by 2 kg and the other produced by the 10 kg dumbbell. We have one anti-clockwise moment produced by F. The clockwise moment equal to 2 g times 
20 cm plus 10 g times 35 cm and the anti-clockwise moment is equal to f times 4 cm for equilibrium we have total clockwise moment equal to the anti-clockwise moment therefore the force exert by the bicep will be equal to 956 Newton Example 4 A man uses a carrying post to carry heavy objects X and Y The weight of X is 400 Newton A Find the weight of Y and the force acting on the man's shoulder by the pole that is to find the reaction at the shoulder by take moment at the shoulder P we have clockwise moment equal to weight of Y times 0 0.8 and the anti-clockwise moment will be equal to 400 times 1.2 since clockwise moment equal to anti-clockwise moment we have WY times 0 0.8 equal to 400 times 1.2 therefore the weight of Y equal to 600 Newton. Also, total upward force R equal to total downward force weight of X plus weight of Y. Therefore, the reaction force at the shoulder is equal to 400 plus 600 which is 1000 Newton. Part B. Would it be easier for the man to carry the objects if they are put closer to him? Even X and Y are put closer to the man, the total downward force is still equal to 400 plus 600 newtons, which is 1000 newtons. Therefore, the reaction force acting on the shoulder of the man remains the same so it would not be easier for him to carry the objects example 5 the figure shows a traditional balance used in shops the object to be weighed is put on the pen and the mass M on the other side is moved along the rock to make the rock horizontal. If M is 0 0.4 kg, the mass of the pen is 0 0.2 kg. The string handling the pen is 5 cm from the pilot. The rock is adjusted to be horizontal when M is 10 cm from P. Part A. Find the mass of the objects and tension in the string. First, we assume the mass of the rock is negligible. Then, we take moment at P. The clockwise moment equal to 0 0.4 G times 
10 cm and the anti-clockwise moment will be equal to m pi plus 0 0.2 g times 5 cm for equilibrium clockwise moment equal to anti-clockwise moment therefore the mass of the objects m pi is equal to 0 0.6 kilogram also total upper force T equal to total downward force which is 0 0.4 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.6 times G which is equal to 11.8 Newton Example 6 A man of weight 800 Newton stands on a uniform beam AB of weight 200 Newton The beam rests on two pilots X and Y Find the reaction forces on X and Y Let the reaction force and X and Y be Rx and Ry respectively and we take moment at point Y we have clockwise moment equal to Rx times 1 anti-clockwise moment equal to 800 times 0 0.5 plus 200 times 1 by equating clockwise moment equal to anti-clockwise moment we got Rx equal to 600 Newton because Rx plus Ry equal to 800 plus 200 therefore Ry will be equal to 400 Newton Part B If the man goes towards B find the position of the man so that the beam start to topple Let the position of the man be here when the beam starts to topple about Y the man is at distance D from pilot Y by taking moment at Y we got the clockwise moment equal to 800 times D and the anti-clockwise moment about point Y is equal to 200 times 1 and look that when the beam topples about Y the reaction force at X becomes 0 by equating clockwise moment equal to anti-clockwise moment we got D equal to 0 0.25 meter therefore when the man walks towards B and which a position 0 0.25 meters from Y the beam starts to topple example 7 the diagram shows a uniform bridge AO of mass 1000 kg and length 30 meters it can rotate about O 
A is connected to B by a string, a car of mass 2000 kg is paced at 5 meters from O. And the beam is in equilibrium. Find the tension T in the string. By taking moment at O, we got clockwise moment produced by the tension equal to T times perpendicular distance from O D equal to T times 30 psi 25 degree and the total anti-clockwise moments about point O produced by the car and the weight of the beam The total anti-clockwise moments equal to 2000 G times 5 plus 1000 G times 15. By equating clockwise moment equal to anti-clockwise moment, we find the tension of the string to be equal to 645 Newton.